Okay, team. So I know that on this page of concepts of print, I've already mentioned some of these before, book handling skills and directionality. These are the two, when we talk about concepts of print, um, these are going to be the two that you're going to be tested on for sure. So you will have a question on book handling and you will have a question on directionality. So, so let's just take a moment one more time and clarify that book handling skills. It's an awareness of how to hold and take care of that book. Now, this is something that is modeled by, by caregivers and parents and teachers, right? So by the time they get to uh, uh, kindergarten and they're that, at that level where they're starting to read, they already have those basic skills down, you know, and that's going to just one of the many skills that is just going to help with the, you know, the literacy process, the reading and writing process. Okay, but this is a foundational skill. All right, now let's read the question connected to it. Take a minute now, one minute, read the question, go. Unpause, let's talk. Let's notice something and these basic questions. The actual question itself is one sentence. Do you, can you see that? That's a one sentence question. And the answers are the answers are all in phrase form, word or phrase. I mean, those are the nicest questions you can get: a one sentence question and a a word or phrase answer. So the linguistic complexity you can see is is not as much. Okay, now team, as you go and do these practice exams and 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 through this class, you'll see questions that are much longer, right? It doesn't mean it's a bad question. It just means that you can practice this question and you can practice answering it in less than a minute, right? And just get to the get to, get to the point where you're matching up scenario with concept in under 30 seconds, maybe even 15 seconds. So it's just you get to do these skills faster and that's okay. Okay? Sometimes it's good to go through a bunch of questions and really build that speed, okay? And, and that's going to help you when you get to the longer questions. You already know what it's like to, to cut through a question real fast. Now, this one right here, I'm going to read it, and then we're going to talk through it. Okay, so let me clear this off, and let's just talk through it. Pointing out the title, I'm going to circle that word, pointing. Pointing out the title, the beginning, middle, and end of a book to a group of preschool children before reading the book aloud to, uh, to them contributes to their reading development primarily by promoting what? Let me circle those things. Pointing out the title, beginning, middle, and end of a book. So team, and this is for preschool, right? So remember, preschool is a sound or print thing. Uh, when we're doing print, uh, we point. That's the verb we use. The verb for print is point. When we're doing, and that would be for, for print. If it's a sound thing, what's the verb so we, so for sound? We, we're going to see things like say and, and listen and orally something segment, right? So those are words for sound activities. Say, listen, pronounce, orally segment, you know, stuff like that. We are doing a print thing, and that's why we have the pointing. And then we also have print reinforced in the examples of print. Uh, point out the title, that's print. The beginning, middle, and end of the book. Those are all parts of the book. And this is definitely something we could do in preschool. And this is happening before read aloud. What is this doing to promote this child's reading? How's it helping them? Well, it's not really directionality. We're not going from left to right. It's not schema, which is a reading comp thing that we'll talk about later. It's not literal comprehension, which is another reading comprehension thing involving the recall of names, terms, and events of a story. So these are out. What's being described here is book handling skills. Now look, this is an idea. And you need to be able to recognize your friend when you get to a question like this. Would you agree? When you get to a question involving this, you got to recognize, hey, that's book handling skills. And that's how we get this down to like 10 seconds, right? You're like, bam, book handling. Team, don't be, don't, don't look down at a test like this. 
Okay, this was around for 10 years, this test. More over, over that, 12 years, long time. I know it's a little bit more basic, but you're going to get that practice matching up these concepts. Concepts of print, book handling skills, directionality, schema, literal comprehension. You're going to be able to learn this stuff and match it up with scenarios. So practice is a good practice test, okay? All right, the answer is C. Now let's do uh, another concept of print question, okay? Let's take a look. 